Over your time in Algebra 2, you're going to see a world of different word problems. And the first thing that students see when they see a word problem is a bunch of words and they get freaked out and scared and not really knowing how to attack it, okay? So what I'm going to talk about now is just sort of a brief overview on what your thought process should be when you see a word problem, okay? So the first thing I, you should probably do is just take a deep breath because you're going to have to deal with it somehow, so you might as well at least collect yourself before you tackle it, okay? The next thing is to figure out what kind of problem it's going to be, okay? So there's typically a number of different problems that we are looking at when it comes to a word problem. There's distance rate time problems where just read the problem and take out your information and put it into a table, okay? Typically, distance rate time problems are dealing with two different legs or something of a trip or something like that. You really just want to sort the information from one leg from the, different, from, from the other one. And then once you have your chart, figure out how you can make your equation, okay? Another one is typically going to involve area or geometry or something like that, okay? And every time we're talking about sort of a physical space, just make a picture, okay? Take those words, make it into a, a picture, which you can then label, and hopefully from there, make your equations out, typically relating area or perimeter or sides or something like that, okay? Another type of word problem you'll frequently see is mixture. Also, investment all kind of clump into that. And the main thing you want to do is just sort of make a diagram, okay? Sort of create one pod for one piece of information, another pod for another, and then figure out how you can create those pods into equations, okay? There's another, a couple of other types, but basically the main principle of what I want to talk about right now is how to create an equation from those words. And the main thing you want to do is organize those words into a way that you can make an equation. Sort your information out however it is best for you, and then create your equation which you can then solve. The last thing you want to do when solving a word problem is to just make sure you are giving the right answer, okay? The word problems ask for a bunch of different things. Oftentimes, you are going to have to create a variable for one item, and they may ask for another, okay? So just take a second when you're done to reflect, am I giving them what they are actually asking for? All right, so word problems 101. First thing, don't be scared. Figure out how all your data can, or your words can be turned into a table to sort your information or something like that. Create your equation. Solve being sure to give the proper answer.